It is we're looking at mixed exercise seven from the first year core textbook and we're on question 25. So we've got a proof here. And actually that this this um, type of question is coming up quite a lot, not necessarily with proofs, but where they give you some working and ask you to, to spot the mistake. So first thing I think we would do is just check their algebra. Uh, so what we're doing question 25. Okay, so have they squared those brackets out correctly? Yeah, I think they have. Yeah. They've got one squared, then one times x plus another one times x, and then x times x. So you could double check that, but actually that's fine. Um, and then they've drawn their conclusion. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, let's check. Have they actually done the right correct question? Yep, they were trying to show that that is less than that. So they've, they've expanded that out there, and then they've concluded that that is less than that. Um, so why are we saying it's wrong? Well, have they proved what they were trying to prove? So basically what they're saying, let's, let's write it out so I can highlight it. Uh, right, so, so let's just copy out their final result. Okay, so basically their, their logic is that, you, well, both of them have got a one and both of them have got an x squared. So they are then saying, so the right hand side is greater because basically, because it's got that extra two x. Well, not necessarily, um, because, oh, for a second, because that is only true if x is positive. So if x equals zero, then the left-hand side and the right-hand side are the same. If x is negative, then actually the right-hand side is less than the left-hand side. So it's, so it's only true if x is greater than zero. So their error... Um, was to assume that x is positive, or you could put inequality there, that x is greater than zero. Okay, um, and then provide a counterexample, right? So counterexamples are great, you just, you don't need to do any algebra, you just need to find a value where it doesn't work. So counterexample, um, well, so if we've answered A, obviously, we don't want to choose a positive value for x because we're saying it is true if x is positive. So um, let's use x as minus 2. So 1 plus um, minus 2 all squared is 1 plus 4, so 5. And then 1 plus minus 2 and then squaring. Um, so that would be, so 1 plus minus 2 would be minus 1. So minus 1 all squared. Um, is one, so, um, so let's write this out a bit more clearly. So one plus x squared, so this is what we are trying to disprove by, by showing a counter example. So we, if we use x as minus two, the left-hand side is five, the right-hand side is one, which is not, oops, let's see that, which is not true. Okay, but that's, so basically, I mean, zero would have worked, so any, zero or any negative value would have um, would have worked because we've said it's only true if x is positive. Okay, yeah, so there you go, said zero. But that's not the only possible answer, lots of options.